what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to set up Google Home and just show you guys how easy it actually is to use Google Home. Now, one thing to keep in mind is to use Google or Amazon, you actually need to create a PowerView account and you need to register the hub. Now, in our case, we've already created an account, so I'm just going to sign in, but I'll show you guys how to get there. So we click the menu button, top left-hand corner, up the top, PowerView account, set up account. So if I select that, you would create account, but in my case, I've already got an account. But when you select create account, it just follows through a bunch of steps and you just follow all the prompts, put in all your details. Once you've done that, then you just need to register the hub. So we've already got an account, so I'm just going to log into that. Okay. Okay. All right, so we've created our PowerView account, we're logged in. The next thing you do after you've created your PowerView account and you'll get an email and you verify your account, you'll need to log in like I just did, and then you'll need to go register Hub, okay? And by registering the Hub, what that does is that makes it available on the PowerView cloud for, then you being able, for, you be, for you to be able to connect it to Google or Amazon, okay? So we've registered the Hub, done and done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into Google Home. We go add. Okay. We go set up device. Have something already set up. Okay. And we'll just search for PowerView. Uh, there you go, Power View Scenes. Okay, select that. And now it's going to ask us to log into Power View account that we've created. So, Sign in. Okay, there you go. Now, one thing to keep in mind is when you um, hook up or connect your PowerView account to either a Google or an Amazon service and device, you need to have scenes created. They're the only things you can execute. You can't individually control shades. You'll need to have scenes created. So, just like the timed event, if you want blinds to go up at a certain time, you need to create a scene. Same thing with Google or Amazon. Whatever you want. To work with Google or Amazon, you first need to create that scene. And what it does is Google or Amazon actually extract that scene from the PowerView cloud. So we'll authorize that. Okay. Done. Okay. We go back. We go back. Okay. Now what we do is we'll go more settings, distant. And we'll go routines. Okay, so we've got a couple of routines already set up, but we can create another one and we'll call it, we'll say to Google, um, afternoon office, for example. So this is the office scene. So we'll just call it afternoon office. Dave, okay. We'd like to add an action. Okay, so I'm just going to go back and just show you that again. So we'll go add an action, and then you go or choose popular actions. And then here you can see adjust scenes. So it's already synced it up to the PowerView account, and we've got the two scenes that we've created already in there. So we'll go. Our afternoon office scene. Add. Okay. And save. Okay. So now if I exit out of this, I'll send that shade up, send the wall up.
Now, sometimes you need to give it about five, five minutes or so for all to think, but I'll just give it a go now and see whether it's going to happen straight away or not. So, somebody. All right. So let's have a look at this shade. All right. So, okay, Google. Afternoon office. Okay. You see, the shade's going to come down and the veins will open. So the process to set up via Google or Amazon is a lot easier now with the Gen 2 hub versus the Gen 1 hub. And it's really, really straightforward. Most important thing is you just need to create that PowerView account, register the hub. Once you've done that, the rest is really, really straightforward. And we've actually got documentation on both Google and Amazon devices on how to hook up the PowerView account to them.